Um, so I was talking to Josh today, and he told me if I wanted to go with him and his family to San Diego. But I have a soccer game, so um, what should I do? Just tell him you can't go. <gasps> hey, Madeline, look, Hillary's winning the pool. Well, whatever. Seriously, what should I do about Josh? And I was serious when I told you to tell him no. Are you afraid of him or something? No, it's just a woman should always obey her man. It's like set in stone or something. I mean, at least that's what my dad tells my mom. Don't tell me you actually believe in that macho mentality. Because if you do, you're not the best friend that I know. Of course not. It's just, what if Josh likes that? And what if I don't obey him? What if he wants to break up with me after that? Well, if he is like that, then you'll be dodging a bullet. Um, look at all, watch out. Look at that booty. Um, gee, Ash, does my booty actually look that good? He just disrespected us. That's why I wish Olympic Goosh was still around. Uh, Olympic what? Sit down, let me tell you about her. Olympic Goosh was born in 1748 and was one of the first feminists of all time. Olympe de Gage began her journey of her legend by being a play writer. Her plays were out of the usual, not like other writers of her time. She always seemed to have her own view on things, which caused many of her plays not to be shown. She tried her hardest to come out and become something of herself. This was a hard thing to do with people's knowledge of her husband's death and her relationship with her lover while having a child with her ex. In her adulthood, she was an advocate for human rights. Finally, in 1791, she became a member of the Social Club, where a group of women come together at meetings and talk about human and women's rights. This is where she said one of her most famous statements. A woman has a right to mount spot. A woman possesses equally the right to mount speakers Soon after becoming a member of the social club, she wrote the Declaration of Independence, which led Louis XVI to great anger, causing her death by execution. What? I think I'm gonna text Josh that I'm not going. Here. I'm proud of you. Let's go get some ice cream. Alright. What's your favorite flavor? Strawberry or sherbet? Oh